What's up guys, Nintendo Nick here, and welcome back to our Smashing Sunday. In the last episode, we did the Subspace Emissary, I think it was like part 4 or something. And, um, I kind of forget, oh yeah, we uh, got our various suit back for with Samus. Um, we destroyed the boss that was that had a bomb strapped to him. I don't really know what his name is, but we did that. Uh, Falco joined Diddy Kong and Fox to help him get uh, Donkey Kong back. And yeah, now we're actually going to get some more new characters with the outside, the ancient ruins. And so uh, here we have a bunch of Pikmin trying to destroy a Rob. You know, the Pikmin aren't that small in the actual Smash Brothers, but I'm actually going to play this uh, sound effect because uh, Captain Falcon comes in and I'm going to hint to what his uh, costume is for the mod that I put for him. And here he comes. Yep, so the mod that I put with uh, Captain Falcon is the one and only John Cena. And here he is. <laughs> yep. It's actually pretty awesome, but yeah. yeah. All of his sound effects are Captain Falcon. John Cena can even do the Falcon Punch. I just, I just find it like so funny that you could have this in Smash Brothers. It's actually really funny, like seeing John Cena do all of, all of uh, Captain Falcon's moves. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more mods, because I have a few others that I haven't shown off yet because of the, the characters haven't appeared in the game yet, but. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more, because there are a lot of mods out there. Um, I was actually looking some up, uh, yesterday, and, um, like I saw a Sans mod for, uh, Lucas, a Deadpool mod for, uh, Snake, a bunch of others that, um, are from Master of Hyrule. If you guys know who he is, he has a lot of mods for uh, Super Smash Brothers, Project M. Yeah, so here we have Olimar, and if you guys uh, play Smash 4, you know that you can only have uh, three Pikmin, and in Project M, I think it's four Pikmin. So it's not that big of a difference, but in Brawl, it's like seven I think. Alright, let's give this guy I really these enemies are so annoying, especially this like Rob Blaster. Like they just keep spamming these projectiles. Then we have another it's like basically having a tanky character and then having this guy who's spamming projectiles. But they're no match for John Cena. Alright. I'm just gonna... I'm just destroying all these... Spammers, and then I can destroy the main, I guess... Uh... Main enemy. Right, I think that was, uh... Rylu, or whatever his name is. The... Pokemon before Lucario, like the pre-evolution. But yeah, so I mean, there's like a lot of other mods too. There's um, I remember seeing like a uh, Goku mod, a Ryu mod. I don't really know what uh, characters they're replacing though, but I guess we'll find out in the Let's Play if I do add them. They're all in Smash Bolt too, because most of the mods that I have here are 
from Smashville, and I didn't really get them from YouTube. Because the only one who really does have uh, show off Super Smash Bros. Melee mod or not Melee mods, uh, Super Smash Bros. Project M mods are Ma is Master of Hyrule. But anyway, we have here Diddy Kong and Falco and Fox are trying to get Donkey Kong back, and they do. And it looks like Falco and Olimar are going to join them. Like, I love how they don't even question them. Like, back when uh, Kirby and... Uh, back when Kirby and... Or not Kirby, Yoshi and Link wanted to join... Uh, Mario and Pit, they had to fight each other, but here they're just like, yo, what's up, we're gonna help you. But, yeah, I don't really have anything for Donkey Kong. Maybe I should, like, add, uh, maybe the Shrek mod that I had for, uh, for Super Smash Bros. Melee. But, yeah, I think I showed him off before when we first, uh, got Donkey Kong, but that was a while ago. His, uh, his, uh, what's it called? His, uh, dash attack is, like, the one in, uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS, where, uh, it's like a role, like, in his games and stuff. Of course, like, in almost every game, he's the pretty heavy character. I want to pick up that uh, bunny hood. That could help. Alright. That was my controller's fault. Alright. John Cena for the win here. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I thought I was I thought I was the primate with the gun over here. The scope prime is, but apparently I wasn't, and I don't know how I could, how I got him mixed up with John Cena, but I did. And I think this music is from F Zero, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I played F Zero GX, and it's a really good game, but it's not. I'm pretty sure F Zero GX. This song's not in it, but it could be from F Zero on the SNES or on the Game Boy Advance or something. Because the only real F Zero game that I played was F Zero GX, and it's really good. F Zero GX, I actually might do a let's play of it. I love that game; it's so good. And hopefully, on the NX, they do have a um an F-Zero game because I absolutely love F-Zero GX. It's so good. And, I mean, it's better than Mario Kart 8, to be honest. It is really good. It's got a story mode. It has a bunch of different features that aren't in Mario Kart. Like, you can choose either you want max speed or max acceleration uh, in each course. Um, there's just a bunch of different things. Like, if you come in first place in uh, the first course, in the second race, you'll be in 30th. Unlike in Mario Kart, where you're still in first because they want to give the people who came in last an advantage. Which I feel like is much better than if you come in first, you are first in the start of the race. But anyway, we meet up here with the Ice Climbers and basically have a race here I guess ice climbers versus Mennonite and I guess it's the top tier like who wants to be the top tier <laughs> it's actually pretty funny if you think about it cuz like Mennonite is like top tier in brawl and then ice climbers is like a little bit close behind and then <laughs> it looks like they're just fighting up for a top tier cuz like they're on a mountain here it's like <laughs> I've never thought about it like that but now that I do, it's actually pretty funny. But yeah, I don't have anything for the Ice Climbers. No uh, mods, I'm pretty sure. But uh, you can add a Rosalina and Luma mod I've seen. Uh, I forget what else I've seen. 
think there's one where it's like Popo and Lala from uh, Kirby, where it's um, you don't know Popo and Lala is like a blue and pink creature or red creature. And they're like little balls, kind of. But I don't really remember. Like, if you go in Smash Vault, there is a bunch of, uh... There are a bunch of mods for Project M and stuff. And, um... You can, like, see all the mods for, like, one specific character, and then, like, keep on doing it to, like, the next character. Just to see, like, all the mods for every character basically and it's like it basically shows you like the popular ones or like the ones that came out the uh ones that are recent and stuff like that right, do these guys keep responding or something okay i'm just gonna go through this door wait is this even okay you guys are so annoying because they like regenerate health and you don't like kill them right away or you don't rack up damage right away then they'll just keep fighting alright so we're, here we have the ice climbers um, I don't really know how to chain grab that well but I've seen videos and the ice climbers can be very deadly I mean, even if you don't know how to chain grab, they're really good together. But when, uh, I think it's Nana, when she leaves, uh, it's a bit harder. Especially because you basically have your, uh, attack power and also your recovery gets, uh, devastated a lot. So you kind of want to protect Nana. And most players actually usually kill Nana first so that they can just kill Popo really easily. Like people just grab Nana and then they try and push her off the edge. And yeah, so this is actually Ice Climbers. It's like, the music is Ice Climbers, and the stage is kind of based off of Ice Climbers. I've actually played the real game in, uh, uh, in NES Remix. It's not really that good, but, I mean, it's, it's still pretty fun, but it's not, like, one of the, like, better NES games. It's actually kind of hard to play because like the momentum is really messed up especially when you try to um when you try to like get to a certain area like when you try to like go left or right it's actually really hard like while you're jumping So yeah, I mean, I don't get, like, why the Ice Climbers came to, uh, Smash Brothers anyway. I mean, they started in, in Melee, but, like, they're not really a main character of Nintendo. Like, they only had one game, which was Ice Climbers for the NES. And maybe, I think, on the... Game Boy Advance or whatever, but other than that, they really haven't appeared anywhere. Right, these things are so annoying, I remember this like, gives me nightmares, like these things just freeze you and then, it's so annoying. Anyway, so uh, Nana died, but the thing with Ice Climbers is basically you have two lives if Nana dies, but if Popo dies, then uh, it's automatic game over, basically. You can't play as Nana alone. It's just, you play as Popo, and Nana follows you, so... If Nana dies, then... You're good, Popo is still alive. If, uh, Popo dies, then... Nana just disappears, basically. Alright, so... Let's 
so it looks like we're getting close to the top of the mountain. Okay, yeah, those guys. Usually they're asleep, but I guess something or someone must have awakened them. Right, so I guess we're at the top of the mountain here, but... Okay, so it is the end. Even though there's a cutscene. But yeah, it looks like Ice Climbers won that race, and they're now number one on the tier list. But yeah, anyway, we have Lucario here. I think, actually, that's what uh, Goku replaces, is Lucario, if you have that mod. I'm actually gonna go play as him. I don't think I have any mods for him, but... I'll see just in case. Okay, so yeah. Um, this is actually the stage that we're on right now. I'm pretty sure it's only for Project M. But I could be wrong. This could be just the stage that um, they fight on. But uh, in Luke, Luke Lucario's uh, moveset, he actually is a bit different. Like his up smash is more like an uppercut instead of like face palm in the air basically um you could also like i forget how you do it but it's like it's not like that but <laughs> it's like you have the aura spear but like you you make it like to a giant ball oh yeah his down special is different too i don't know what that does but it does something i guess but yeah like it's like i forget how you do it though it's like I mean, now's not really a good time to show it off, but you basically make this big Aureus Aura Spear, and uh, and it goes very slow, like right in front of you, and uh, it does a massive damage, but it goes very slow though. I forget how to perform it though. So yeah, Lucario, like, helps him out, because I guess he knows that he's going to help him. Like, yeah, they're going to make up. So, um, yeah, they got the great box right here, and just in time, because they land on the mountain, of course. And the Ice Climber is like, I don't know what happened to them, like... Apparently they're still on our team, but they just fell down. But, yeah, I don't know what happened to them. And then they see what happens. Oh yeah, so... I guess they join, uh, Lucas and the Swordsman. And the Pokemon Trainer, too. And then, Hero Team right here, also joined them. So, as you can see, like, the, the Nintendo characters are all joining up now. Alright, uh, I don't know, last time I played with Ridley, the game broke, so I don't really want to choose him. I'll go with Kirby. Alright, maybe I'll go with Ridley. And then, let's go with Mario and Yoshi. Yeah. Link is the only one who doesn't have a mod, I'm sorry. Like, I really, I probably should give, give him a mod. I'll probably give him your CD mask, or maybe there's a, I know there's a Victoria's mask, uh, or Skull Kid, as you can call him. Uh, there's a Skull Kid mod, but I don't know who it replaces. I think it's actually Lucas, but I could be wrong. Makes sense. I think actually I think it's a twin link that Skull Kid replaces, and not uh, Link or Lucas. As I thought. I don't know why I think Lucas, but that's what I think. Wait, wait, why are their eyes like all oh, weird? They're not like dots. They're like squiggly lines now. Right, so we're just completely destroying here with. I guess because we 
I don't really like how you can't change the camera angle when you're playing the subspace emissary, but you know, you can't really do anything about it. Alright, um, I think the next one's actually pretty long. I kind of forget what happens. I think, I don't know if it's the Sheik and Peach you get to play as, or if it's Snake, Lucario, and Mennonite. It's one of those, but pretty sure it's pretty long so uh, I'm actually gonna end it here so thank you all for watching make sure to like comment subscribe remember let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more mods for more characters and if you have any specific mods you want me to uh, play with let me know but until then make sure to like comment subscribe like I said and stay tuned for more smashing Sundays where we'll be playing more of the Subspace Emissary right here on the channel. Bye.